Yo, what's going on guys? DJ Jamming here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. Today, we are going to make a custom wireless microphone case with the Apache 2800 case. You can find these at Harbor Freight, uh, I'll link it down below. We're also gonna talk about these kind of knockoff uh, cases versus like SKB cases and Pelican cases and uh, see if they're just as good. So let's go, we're gonna head upstairs. We're doing it on the table because right down here is kind of messy right now. So let's go. All right, so for the past like year and a half probably, I've been using this SKB case now like the Pelican cases and this case right now, the Patchy, they have that cutout foam. I don't, know if, I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about, but if I can get it out without destroying it. This kind of stuff, it's uh, perforated, so you can kind of mold it to whatever item you're putting in there. This had it, the SKB had it, and then I don't know where it went, so this is kind of how I've been organizing it in here. It's not really the safest way, but this is what it kind of looks like. So this is how it has been for the last little while here. Like I said, not the safest, but um, if you guys don't know, I'm using the Shure SLX4 receiver, and then I use the SLX2 with the Beta 87A capsule on it. Super sturdy microphone, love it. So that's kind of how it's been laid out. The receiver's back here cables on this side, microphone up front. And now since this almost fits in here, there's two layers of this in this case right here. So since this almost fits, I'm gonna cut a little piece, uh, a strip off each side and put it in here and put all of my stuff for light jockey in here. So I'll put my light jockey box, the cable, stuff like that. So now I can repurpose this case and use this new one for the microphone. All right, so this is what the new one looks like. Um, pretty nice. This is Apache on the front. So what we're gonna do is, this layer does not come out. This is like glued in here, I think. Maybe not. Oh, I'm wrong. There are three layers to this case. That's awesome. All right, well, that bottom layer is not perforated. That's just a padding on the bottom. But pretty much what I need to do is, we're gonna take the receiver and I think I'm gonna put it just like how it was in the other case, like so. And then I'll put the mic right here. And then probably the cables right here, or cable right here or something. I don't know about the antennas. It might just sit back here like they were before. Unless I can get them in a spot underneath this or something, I don't know. But pretty much what I have to do right now is just kind of mark out, I'm gonna grab a Sharpie or something and just outline this first and get this in place and then I'll start working on other stuff. All right, so I don't know if you can see that. Actually, you probably can. I just outlined it in a pink marker so it'd show up. But now I'm just gonna start peeling away inside of the square that I made and then uh, just kind of readjust it as I go to make sure that I get a snug fit on the receiver. Alright, so as you can see, this, I made the square the right dimensions, I guess. I just have to cut out the back now to fit the antenna ports and the safety loop here and then, uh, I think this would be a perfect fit. So there you go. What I ended up doing was I just tore off that back piece. It's not worth just trying to cut out little pieces, so that's that. That actually fits in there pretty semi-snug, I guess. I don't know. Hopefully it doesn't fall out or anything. If it seems like it's not gonna work, I still have this extra piece that I can redo it on, but I was, like I said, I was gonna use it for something else. 
but I'm pretty sure that if this isn't as snug as I want, I can just probably put some of these back in or something. I don't know, I'll figure it out. But now let's, uh, we're gonna work on the microphone. So here's kind of the hard part is because of the capsule, the, reg the rest of it fits. I just need to probably grab an X-Acto knife or something and actually cut around this because there's only so many, like the lines line up with each other. It's not super small squares. Like this is how thick they are or wide. So I can't really just get this curved part out of the foam without cutting it, I think. So, and this foam's kind of starting to come apart, but it'll go back together once I put the microphone in. It's kind of a super bash job. Honestly, I don't even know if I would like this or not. I have a feeling, yeah, look, it's already coming apart. Well, now I really f***ed it up. That's unfortunate. Actually, I don't know. Maybe that'll work. Good. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Let's see if it'll even... If I hear this thing rolling around, I'm gonna get pissed. Yep. I don't know. Unless you're not supposed to. I, I, I really don't know. I just think it's kind of stupid to have two pieces of padding in here and taking it out every time that you want to get to the microphone. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to do. Yeah, I'm not super digging these cases, to be honest. They're cool cases, they're nice. It's just it's kind of hard to do for a microphone. Ah, oh, this sucks. We'll see if I, uh, if I want to keep this or not, or if I'll redo it on this one. We'll see. But I just have a feeling that all this stuff is just gonna fall out when I throw it around in the van and stuff and do all this kind of thing and I don't know, we'll see if it just held up or not. Not really. I have a feeling I'm gonna end up damaging damaging this even more if I, if I do this. I mean unless I tear into the uh to the bottom section here and put these in. Honestly, I'm not gonna recommend this case to you guys. I think I'm just gonna get a legit Pelican case and uh, go from there. This foam's super cheap. That's that's what I've been noticing. It just comes apart, and that's kind of where my problem is right now. Is uh, it got so thin that it's just pulling away from the foam. I might retry it with this. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, then this was like 25 bucks, so it's not that big of a deal. But yeah, kind of a bummer, but uh, yeah, <laughs> that's pretty much it for today, guys. If you enjoyed it, slap a like on it, turn on that bell notification, do your thing, like, comment, share, subscribe. Make sure to check out Patreon if you want live streams, giveaways, more content, featured content that only you guys can watch if you're a Patreon. Please go on over there and check it out. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next video. Do your thing. Peace.